welcome to Educate. Today we're going to be doing our practice number five on the human reproduction topic. Today we're just going to look at the events that I show that take place at the female reproductive system. So now this part uh, has something to do with fertilization and whatnot, whatnot. So now let us look um, at this diagram. So 3.2 states that the diagram below shows the sequence of events that takes place in a part of the female reproductive system so i'm sure all of us can see which part of the female reproductive system is this remember i always make my diagram of the female reproductive system being something like this right is something like this and then there is ovaries here and then there are other ovaries here so now here we are just showing a section of it we're just showing this part so this is just one one side of the female reproductive system we have just zoomed in so now uh, we can see that these are the ovaries right this part b is actually the ovaries and then they are like they are releasing something here they are releasing something here and then that something meets something here again and then when they meet something happens and then it develops to something else to something else to something else and eventually develops into something we can try and recognize to be a baby so this is actually true and it's just describing how a baby develops just from uh, two cells so now let us answer the question so now they say identify whenever they say identify you do not have to explain anything you just have to answer the question by stating whatever it is that they're asking you so now you have to identify a process which is process a so let us look carefully in the diagram where is a located so process a is here they have actually zoomed in let me just try to redraw this they have actually zoomed in something like this and then something like this yes so process a is something like this so this is what's happening at this point so they want us to identify that process and remember here process a involves this round thing that is coming from the ovaries remember whatever that comes out from the ovaries is called the ovium or the excel so this ovum that is coming out from the ovaries it has met a sperm cell this arrow like structure is showing a sperm cell this one yes just here so it's a sperm cell that has met an ovum whenever they meet they want to fuse into each other and do it and eventually create a baby so now what process is that it is called fertilization so fertilization is the process whereby the sperm cell the nucleus of the sperm cell will actually enter the nucleus of the ovum and then they will fuse together to create a zygote so now the second question says state whenever they say state and identify these are very 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 similar so if to state a reason why this fetus would die if the vein in structure c was blocked so which is structure C here we can see that structure C is sort of like a a tube here at this point let me just use another pen so here structure C is just this tube like structure here and you can carefully note that uh, this structure is actually attaching this little baby or this little fetus to the mother so that structure that attaches a fetus to a mother is called the umbilical cord so now they say what will happen in the if the vein of structure C was blocked remember that uh, in an umbilical cord it is just something like this and then this is your baby here yes this is your baby here or your fetus and then this is the mother so now the umbilical cord consists of two things it has got an umbilical artery as well as um as well as an umbilical vein let me use another pen so it has got an umbilical vein let's just say this is the vein and the red one is the artery so now what would happen if the vein in the umbilical cord was to be blocked first of all what is the function of the vein or the umbilical vein the umbilical veins function it is to transport oxygen from the mother is to transport oxygen from the mother all the way to the fetus what else does it transport oxygen and nutrients right so if that was blocked what will happen state one reason the, the, the fetus will die 
first of all, the fetus will no longer receive oxygen and nutrients. So the fetus will not will no longer receive receive nutrients and oxygen so if the fetus does not receive the nutrients then it does not have any food to feed it so it will eventually die so this is just dating the reason so that is just uh, what happens when the umbilical vein is is blocked it means that it does not allow nutrients and oxygen to move or to diffuse from the mother here to the fetus here through the umbilical vein so in it when that vein is blocked then the the the, 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 the nutrients as well as the oxygen cannot move to the baby the developing baby or rather the fetus so now we go to uh, another thing here uh, this question says explain the role of hormones that are produced in structure B or by structure B during the menstrual cycle so we need to know what is structure B so structure B here it is actually showing us the ovaries remember that we have just zoomed in this portion here so structure B is this portion or the ovaries so first of all they want us to explain the role of hormones that are produced by the ovaries first of all we need to know what uh, what hormones are produced in the ovaries so the ovaries produce the hormone oestrogen oestrogen as well as progesterone so those are the two things they are particularly coming from the this one is coming from the graphene follicle that is in the ovary it's this progesterone is coming from the corpus luteum that is still in the ovary so we can just say these hormones are produced by the ovaries so now they want us to explain their role what does it do during the menstrual cycle so you have to at least mention what does oestrogen do so remember that uh oestrogen first of all we can say oestrogen oestrogen is secreted to do what um to 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 to, to thicken the endometrium so it thickens the endometrium thickens the endometrium okay so oestrogen is actually um is actually secreted by the ovaries so that it can make this layer to be thick this layer of the uterus or this wall of the uterus called the endometrium to be more thick why does this layer have to be more thick it is to prepare for implantation so thickens the endometrium to prepare for interplay for implantation something like this implantation so now let us look at what is happening here so i have said here this structure the ovum that is released by the uh, by the ovaries will be fertilized here a uh, structure a yeah it will be fertilized here by the sperm cells and when it is fertilized it grows to form this small ruler and eventually forms a blastocyst and then this will come and implant at the endometrium so it will actually move from here and it will come and implant here at the endometrium and become a baby a developing fetus so how does that happen i've already said so now for that to happen efficiently this baby must be in a thick endometrium the endometrium must be thick enough so that whenever the fetus comes uh, 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 whenever that blastocyst is coming to implant then the fetus will be able to grow okay it must be thick it must be vascular glandular and being er enriched with blood vessels so that it can feed this fetus yeah so that it can develop all these things such as umbilical cord and whatnot so now that will that is why oestrogen plays a role so it does what it thickens the endometrium and then when the endometrium is thick why is it thickening it so that we can prepare for the the, the fetus to implant yes for implantation to happen and we have already said again that the other hormone that is produced by the ovaries the other hormone that is produced by the ovaries here it is progesterone so progesterone is particularly produced by the corpus luteum so now progesterone what does it do during the menstrual cycle it is still the same as the what as the uh as the 
as the of as the estrogen as well uh, so progesterone we can just say progesterone will do it will further thicken the endometrium will further thicken endometrium so it will further thicken the endometrium it will make the endometrium more thicker and thicker and thicker so it actually works uh, the, the same way with estrogen so it further thickens the endometrium so when the endometrium is further thickened what will that be a benefit of it is to maintain pregnancy so to maintain pregnancy so this is how you answer the questions so now this is uh this is what you call what is called progesterone so now here just be careful whenever you are dealing with such stuff you should be very very careful especially uh, when it comes to the umbilical vein umbilical artery just know that the umbilical vein is the one that are, that is transporting good things to the fetus yeah we can just say it's good things you know food you know, I mean nutrients scientifically it's nutrients as well as what as well as oxygen so that the fetus can survive whereas the umbilical artery is the one that is taking away the 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 the, the waste because this this fetus is actually a living human being so it actually does all processes like us it also has waste yeah well, so all that waste will be doing what will be actually diffusing from the fetus back to the mother you see through the umbilical artery so do tell me if you're having any problems with this uh, topic and good luck for your june exams